Hey guys, welcome back to Copycat Friday, the weekly series in which we try to recreate visual effects from famous films and music videos and show you guys how it's done. And this week we were inspired by the superhero landing and we can see that everywhere with Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, Iron Man and so much more. Now yes, I know guys, we've already done that before on the channel, but we never really did it right. We never really put effort into it, so this week, let's take the superhero landing to the next level. <laughs> Like Jordy mentioned, we already made this effect multiple times. And with every time we made it, we noticed something. The perspective change is the most important aspect of this effect. But now I have this idea to use a chip to fake the perspective change of the falling person. But why is this perspective change so important? Well, if you're shooting from the ground upwards, you will see the falling person from beneath him. So you will only see his feet and part of his upper body. However, if he keeps dropping and coming closer to the ground, his perspective will change and you will see more of his body. And this is super important if you want to sell the effect. And that's what we are going to test with this jib and a camera movement. I hope this works. Hey, go. Best test ever. Our first quick test failed. It was a good idea, but the problem was that you could see the actor standing still on something. And also the cut between the falling shot and the landing shot was way too hard. So we need to find a solution to get that perspective change and make the smoothest transition possible between the two clips. Since our first ID didn't work out and we want that smooth transition between falling and landing, I think the best next step is to go 3D. And it's not so complicated as it sounds. Instead of modeling ourselves, we'll just create a scan which is extremely easy. In the past, we did this with various apps that use the lighter function on our iPhone. But since not all of you have that phone, I want to show you a different technique. For this one, Janik is going to use a DSLR camera to orbit around me multiple times. Of course, while he does that, he'll be taking pictures from me from different angles. The more, the better. Once that is done, you can take these and throw them in Meshroom. This is a software that uses images as an input and based on those images, it creates a 3D model that is fairly okay. Of course, the quality of your 3D model will depend on the amount of pictures you take and how good they are. But your model doesn't have to be perfect because of course, we'll have motion blur covering most of it. While Lorenzo is working on the 3D models, we're gonna look into the extra assets that come with a superhero landing, like smoke, debris, breaking the floor. All of this we are going to make custom. However, However, if you want to save time, definitely check out Storyblocks, the sponsor for this video. They have a wide variety of 4K stock clips that you can easily blend in every project, like this debris clips right here. Now besides that, they also have collections which make searching a lot easier. Now the thing I love the most are their templates. You have After Effects templates and Premiere Pro templates and they will save you a lot of time. So if you want to start downloading unlimited downloads for one single price per year, go check out the first link in the description below. We have this idea where Lorenzo's car broke down and I'm gonna be the superhero to save the day, but we wanna have some smoke coming out of the hood of his car. But we don't have any electricity at the street where we are going to shoot, so that is why we have this ingenious idea to capture some smoke into a couple of bags and bring that with us. No idea if this is gonna work. It's a bag of smoke. Let's test it. <laughs> I didn't even notice you guys were behind me. I think it's empty. Let's test if the first one is still full. So as you saw, the smoke bags don't really work. So we're just gonna change our plans and do some CGI smoke. And I hope it works because we never really did that, so yeah. This is a great place guys, it's a dead end street so that means there's very little traffic. We also shot our Back to the Future video right here, it's truly awesome, you guys should check it out. If only there was someone to help me out. Don't worry, Jordy Nader is here. Hey, need some help there. Good day. Toppy. And now comes the fun part, Jordy has shots. Oxy. 
So shooting the effect happens in different steps. The first one, make your frame and let your actor jump into the frame. For the second step, the actor needs to go out of the frame and we're gonna do some practical effects, like making the grass move and we're even going to make some objects move on the sides, like that. Then for the third step, everybody goes out of the frame and you will tilt up your camera upwards. Then in post-production, you can easily reverse that, making the tilt go from up to down. Easy as that. The first thing I did was to 3D track our shot in After Effects so I can have a 3D camera that has the same movement as the real camera. Once the tracking is working properly, I use a normalized script on the tracking data to make it easier to drop 3D assets in a 3D environment. And this is something I learned in one of the latest video of Clint Jones, which really helped me to improve my workflow. If you want to know more about this, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Also, you'll want to have a still frame of a talent in the air at the point where you want to cut between the model and the real talent. This you'll need in later stages to match the positioning with the 3D model. Next up is to bring this tracking data to Cinema 4D. Here we can use our 3D model that we made. This model needs to have some kind of falling motion of course. And you can hand animate this like a real psychopath or just use Mixamo. Here you can upload your model and browse through a ton of pre-animated movements like for example this one here where Jordi is falling. This animation we bring into Cinema 4D and after a certain time of the falling animation we match his position to the one of the still frame where we want to make our cut. And now you can see Jordi falling and transitioning to his landing pose. Then animate him actually falling from a great height which should look something like this. Last but not least is our HDRI which we add to our scene so we can match the light and reflections of the environment. The next step is going to be the composite of the whole effect. So first of course place your empty shot which has the movement on on the bottom. On top of that place the real falling actor and the 3D model clip. Match the timing of all clips. What we then did was singling out our landing actor by rotoscoping him out. This way we removed Cats the intern plus now we can place stuff behind him like for instance smoke. This we made custom in Cinema 4D with X particles. It's a plugin where you can create smoke and fire simulations super fast. But why would we create our own instead of using stock clips. Well, this way we have more control over the perspective of the smoke and we can also let it interact with the floor or whatever we want. However, using stock clips will also work perfectly. So then in Cinema 4D we could use the tracking that Lorenzo already did and our own smoke simulation to easily position the smoke in our scene, making it a perfect fit. Next up, adding some debris and cracks in our floor. Again, we created this custom in Cinema 4D and for the debris we just used a simple emitter and let it emit 10 different small stones for a short burst. Then for the cracks on the floor we first did a simple project mapping. This means we placed an image on the floor on a 3D plane. We could then break that floor with a Voronoi fracture and the image would perfectly stick on the cracks. Now one last detail are the practical effects we did on the set. This is just a simple mask around the area where the action is happening. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh yeah yeah, before I forget. Don't forget to bring back your shadow. Very important, the shadow. Like in every effect, you'll need to add some details to bring it all together. We color matched our 3D model with the background shot, added a camera shake when Jordi hit the ground, and of course, we gave the model some motion blur. If needed, you can always add some time remapping to really fine tune the landing. And when all of that is finally done, you get something like this. If only there was someone to help me out. Don't worry, Jordy Nader is here. Hey, need some help there. Thank you so much for watching guys. So don't forget to subscribe to see us weekly with new VFX breakdowns. Thank you Storyblocks for your support. Don't forget to check them out. Link in the description down below. And as always, stay creative. Hey, need some help there. Yeah. My hair is in the wear today. My hair is really bad. I'm not sure what's wrong. Like it's constantly like going in the wrong direction.